before we start coloring, I got my tripod this time. Uh, he's actually going to do some finishing up work on it. And uh, it's pretty well colored, the whole thing. He's got some polishing to do and stuff like that. But Tanner wrecked his uh, shoulder dirt biking this weekend. Uh -oh. So now he's going to T-Rex it. Show him what T-Rex is. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as he can raise his arm right now. doing is uh, darkening up the blue on the leggings. lightening up the uh, ropes on the uh, horses so that they show up a little bit better. doing right now is polishing uh, buckles and uh, tacks and different things like the armband on his arm over there. There aren't a lot of buckles on a hackamore. No. Yeah. I can really dull down the color. All right, what he's, what he's 
doing right now is getting ready to ink relax the uh, bronze. Got the camera off. Uh -oh. He had to heat up the bronze because it had if, if it had the if he has any moisture in the bronze at all, and he puts the this uh, sealer, this ink relax, which is kind of like a varnish. It's a brass lacquer. Oh, it's a brass lacquer? Yep. And when he puts that on, and it's very toxic, so I'm going to have to get out of the room. But uh, if he puts that on with any kind of moisture in the metal, it, uh, well, it'll turn green. Could you turn it sideways? So anyway, we're ready to to put the finishing touches on this thing and get it. doing now is uh, putting Johnson's, is it Johnson's face wax or? Oh, yes. Uh, I think we use Well, it's, it's a paste wax. Yeah. And what it does is when it comes uh, next to the uh, heated metal, it literally melts and uh, fills in every crevice. You have to do this to keep moisture out of the bronze so that it won't turn green. Now, all right, we're done with the foundry. I took some pictures. It didn't work out the way I wanted to. I wanted to take some pictures with it uh, uh, with it based up, but I just uh, the, the guy that bases them is gone for the day, and so I won't be able to do that, unfortunately. But anyway, I've got some good pictures of it uh, on the, the uh, coloring stand, and uh, not the best lighting in the world, but this Leica camera takes an incredibly good photograph, even with bad lighting. And uh, so it's enough to show the client what his piece is going to look like. All right, that's uh, going to be it for this day, and I'm going to head home. I gotta get back to work on the sculpture of Sam. <laughs>